Last season, LSU went undefeated, unless you count the month of November. Yeah, that was a bad month for the Bayou Bengals, losing all three of their games during November. However, with 18 starters coming back this season and another great recruiting class, this could very well be Les Miles' best team since 2011. Yeah, the NFL is going to have to wait at least one more year for this guy, Leonard Fournette. Last season, 47 yards shy of 2,000 yards. And as if that average you see there per game wasn't enough to impress you, he averaged 6.5 yards per carry. And not really a surprise that LSU led the SEC in rushing over 250 per game on the ground. And it'll help to have back the majority of that offensive line that was so vital in 2015, including the center, that's uh, Ethan Poshik, and also to the offensive guard in Will Clapp. As good as the Tigers were on the ground, they were almost just the opposite in the air. That's right, 105th in the country in passing yardage, only 180 yards per contest. Obviously, the development of Brandon Harris will be vital if LSU hopes to be a two-dimensional offense. Without a doubt, Brandon Harris will have to improve upon that 53% completion percentage entering 2016. That won't cut the mustard. He will, however, have weapons to throw to, experience, and that counts, with Malachi Dupree at one wide out and, of course, uh, Trayvon Doral at the other. He's a senior. Flipping to the defensive side, third different D coordinator in as many seasons. This time it's Dave Aranda's job. Of course, he was from Wisconsin. He'll be implementing the 3-4 defense. Plenty of experience, though, up front for LSU. Talking about their defensive end, uh, Lewis Neal, he's back. And look in the secondary, which at times was like a daisical, but they still have the talent to get the job done. And that will include one of the best safeties in the country in Jamal Adams. Very experienced in that secondary. Linebacker in court isn't as experienced, so Kendall Beckwith will have to be the leader of that linebacker in court. Do you want a beer? No. Do you want a beer? Yes, please. Nice. You don't have arms. Nope. The opener is intriguing. Defensive coordinator Dave Aranda going against his old team, the Badgers. They'll play him at Lambeau Field at Green Bay. And then the three games that doomed LSU a year ago are back. Ole Miss at home this time in late October. And then the defending national champion, Tide, who LSU has lost five in a row to. And then after that, at Arkansas. The Hogs have had success against the Tigers lately. There's too much talent and experience for LSU not to have a double-digit winning season. But that passing game still needs to show what it can do. And, of course, Bama still rules the SEC West until proven otherwise. That's my look at the Tigers. 